good question time, but we're looking at what's become a very popular item just about everywhere you go. We're talking about, you got it right here, these little hand sanitizers. We've got them all over the news. I'm room pretty now. fond of them. <laughs> Sales of these quick hand cleaners are up 70% from a year ago. But are they all they are they are all what they claim to be? A lot of viewers wanted to know that. And News 3's Mark Lovacott joins us now with this week's good question. Susan, you got to sanitize your hands I'm first. Right. You I'm sorry. You made a mess. Right. You can she's never be too safe. It's okay. It's all right. This has become the buzzword for 2009 sanitizers, specifically these alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Kara on Facebook wanted to know if all these hand sanitizers are the same, and are they really that effective? Kara, that's a good question. They're everywhere, at schools, at work, in our newsroom, even on our way up to today's interview. Never be too safe. And while that's true, some are questioning whether these alcohol-based hand sanitizers are really doing us any good. I am kind of surprised at the level that it's, it's gotten to. Where UW you pharmacist it. Warren Rose admits building. this is sometimes an overkill. These sanitizers are literally everywhere. And they're generally very effective in killing off the strains that we're concerned about. Including H1N1. That is, if you have the right kind of sanitizer. The CDC says look at the back of the label at the percentage of alcohol it contains. 62%. So that's good. Yeah, any, anything between 60 and 95. So we know they can be effective, but experts like Rose worry that some use these quick cleaners the wrong way as a substitute for hand washing. People might say, oh, well, I, I use the alcohol gel. Well, there's still maybe some concerns where you need to use hand washing, and actually it can be more effective in some instances. It doesn't replace hand washing, but it's kind of a nice substitute for hand washing in certain cases. And Rose says if these can get people to think more about hygiene and the spread of germs... I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. It kind of gets people's attention towards hygiene. Rose says hand washing in most cases is actually better because of the ingredients in soap and because of that scrubbing action that breaks up the oils and penetrates deep into our skin. Now, some have actually talked about a concern that overuse of these sanitizers might lead to resistance of some sort of super bug resulting in this bug that everybody could get uh, that, that's not killed by what's in here. But research said that is not true and it's really not possible to use too much of this stuff, but don't forget about hand washing. That's good to know because I yeah. think I bought about twenty drink of those. This stuff I pretty much people hit my desk because I've got it. <laughs> I've got it there, but yeah, I mean they're using it a lot right yeah, now. No they doubt. should. It's it's good stuff. Don't forget about hand washing too. So. All right.